Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and I'm making this video because I actually wanted to talk about an upcoming YouTuber rising very, very fast, man. She's actually been out here killing it, man. So shout out to Dodash. Um, I don't know if you all have seen her, if you all know who she is, but she's actually a pretty amazing and inspiring content creator. I feel like it's actually slept on what she's doing right now. She started a movement where the regular average everyday person is starting to be able to understand that there's opportunity everywhere. And I love the fact that she's a strong black woman. And on top of that, she's, you know, showing all praise to God and she's standing on the things that she believes in. I feel like she's bringing YouTube back down to its, to its essence, which was always about you. It wasn't always this fancy editing, this crazy madness, everything happening every few seconds just to keep people's attention. Like, oh, what's going to happen next? What sound effects going to pop up on the screen next? It's like a real person is just talking to you and you can feel that. You can feel the genuineness and how happy she is coming from where she was, the struggle to now she's starting to rise, the happiness in her rising and the amount of people that she's motivating. If you look at her comment section, it's so many people saying, yo, I, I just got a couple of hundred subscribers now. I just got this. It's so many people so excited about their little milestones, appreciating the journey. And that's what she's showing. She's showing every step of the journey and, and her, her, her great appreciation for every single step of her journey. And she's taking, taking the subscribers along with her. And that's also inspiring and motivating people and letting people see how, you know, how, how simple things can be. If you put your get your head space in the right space and she's trying to get older people onto YouTube as well. She's, it's like there's always been a lot of opportunity and there's there's very few people who are on YouTube, especially that, you know, look like me. That's actually out here helping people or doing something that actually is going to change people's lives. You have entertainers like a lot of the best entertainers and, and are, are these loud, crazy people going out doing pranks. It's always just been stuff that's not really good for you spiritually or anything like that. It's just kind of a distraction from your everyday life. But there's few people out here truly empowering and giving people the information that, yo, you can actually change your life with these opportunities that's online, social media, everywhere. And that's similar to the type of content that I push. And, and she actually has inspired me to push it more because I am a YouTuber with over 300,000 subscribers. I am a YouTuber with hundreds of millions of views. I've got hundreds of millions of views on Facebook as well. It's like, I've been doing social media for a long time and I've never really, you know, I just kind of stay to myself uh, in terms of what happens behind the scenes, all the work that I do, all the stuff that I'm working on and building up. So a lot of people may not even know that there's so much opportunity that currently exists in this space. And it's just genuinely as simple as being you building wealth and building financial freedom and things like this, it's not some fairy tale, but it is a mindset that you have to be in. And this is why you notice things like the movie industry, Netflix, Hulu, all of this stuff, the sports, um, even the, most of the content on YouTube and social media as a whole, the news, all the scary stuff going on. A lot of this stuff is meant to distract the average person from ever getting, you know, reaching a certain level spiritually, reaching a certain level of awareness so you can actually put effort into yourself, change who you are, go down to your core and fix certain problems and issues within yourself, like going out and partying every weekend. It's, it's so, so many different things that we do to harm ourselves that it's, it's put here by design. That that's the whole reason that it's here. It, it, it's to literally keep us distracted and away from the fact that if we calm down, hone in on the things that God has for us to do and wants for us to be doing, we would be getting so much farther in life. We would be accomplishing so much more in life. We would we would be able to, you know, lose all the distractions and really focus in on our purpose that, that comes directly from God himself. And so many people, even when it comes down to religion, religion has become this whole argument against one another and stuff like that more so than the bigger purpose. It's like, who cares which which book is right? Who who, who really cares about the, the nuances of some stuff that happened when you weren't there? What's your relationship like with God? Can you pray and do you know how to receive 
answers and responses from him. Because it don't matter what religion you're claiming if you have no relationship with God. What was the what's the point? The whole point is to bring yourself closer to God, isn't it? And people are arguing about, oh, mine is right, mine is right. And it's like they have made everything in this world designed for arguments to keep you distracted because that's even a distraction as well. And more people like Dodash should rise and come up and start really helping people understand that if you work hard, if you stay consistent, if you change your mindset and change your outlook and, and just do your best, you will be rewarded. Just stay consistent. Stay consistent. Keep your faith high. Just try. You don't have to be perfect at communicating with God. You don't have to be perfect at you know making money. You don't have to be perfect at YouTube, posting your first video. You don't have to have the perfect setup, the perfect sound system, the perfect microphone. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos, I do have the, the fancier setup and stuff like that, but I've been a YouTuber for a long time. I've done content for a very long time, but it didn't start like that. I started on a, what, $200, $300 laptop. It used to take me eight hours to do one video, to upload one video, like from the time I started to the time I finished. And I'm not talking about some crazy, crazy, insanely edited video. I mean, me playing video games, me talking over the video and me uploading it to YouTube. That's it. That process took me eight plus hours every single day and I still grind it. And you know, I have a setup now where I could do that in like 10 minutes now. And that, that's just to show you the difference, but you have to start somewhere. What's most important is that you get started because you're going to upgrade as you go. Like the only way people fail is when they give up is when they stop is when they're too scared to start. That's where failure happens. Failures happens in your mind before it ever happens in reality anywhere else. You've already failed once you start doubting yourself because fear is not something that you should be giving into. I feel like I feel like what I believe is that I believe in love. Like I don't know, like I also believe that the world is heavily manipulated. I believe that certain aspects of things that has been pushed on us is heavily manipulated. But one thing that I do genuinely believe is that God is love. So I like to spread love. I like to spread empowerment. Like I, I, I'm i from Chicago, you know, I'm from a rough area. So I have like a certain personality where I'll trash talk. I'll be mean sometimes and, stuff and say some crazy stuff. Like not, not really crazy stuff, but like roasting type of stuff. Where it's like, you know, like stuff like that, that people can't take out of context if you don't know me. But at the end of the day, it's just my mindset is, I'm not here to hear other people's excuses because my excuses ain't never got me nowhere. I, ha I have to kick my own ass worse than I have to kick anyone else's. Like, you know, like I have to cut my own BS out more than I have to, you know, like if I'm sitting here, ah, uh, uh, my legs hurt. I don't feel like walking today. Let me do it tomorrow. I'm like, I, I know I'm full of it. I know I'm full of it. I have to tell myself that. So hearing all the excuses, oh, I don't know this, I don't know that, just do something. You'll learn as you go. And I think Dodash is a great example showing you that just do it, stay consistent, and put your all into it, put your heart into it, and people will be able to feel that, resonate with it, and, and you can inspire so many people. And I love the fact that she's not out here, you know, degrading herself in order to make a name, in order to build something, in order to, you know, improve improve her life. Because this, these, there's so many opportunities out here. And, and the older generations need to start getting on social media for sure. But we'll make another video about that um, because it's so, so important. It's so important that the older generations start to get on YouTube. But yeah, stick around. Subscribe for the next video. Um, I don't want to make this video too long take up too much of your time. But thanks for watching. Like I said, once again, shout out to Dodash for the beautiful work that you're doing. Um, it's, it's just been a huge inspiration to me. And that's what's gotten me wanting to make more content like this where I just speak on it. So yeah, that being said, y'all, um, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and what you all think in the comments down below. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.